Okay, so what are the commissions is generally as a guideline in the Dubai real estate market? This video is mostly for the buyers, the sellers, the rent tenants and the landlords so that you can understand when you're coming into this market, what is it that you're going to be paying extra on top of whatever you end up negotiating with from a perspective of price. Show real first. All right, guys, welcome back. Look, if you want to work with an esteemed full-time team of advisors in the Dubai real estate market to buy or sell a property, there is a link below. Hit it, click it. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Obviously, show some love in the comment section. Guys, listen, this one, I've got to remind you, is a general guideline what I'm going to tell you. At the end of the day, what you get charged or what you pay in a commission is generally a commercial term that's decided between you and your broker but i'm going to give you the general okay so let's say you're coming into the market and you're going to rent a property if this is a residential property which means you're going to be living in the property yourself or your family and so on and so forth then generally speaking the tenant pays five percent of the total rental value okay so if the total rent is a million dirhams, you're going to be paying 50,000 in agency fee. If the total rent is 100,000, you're going to be paying 5,000 dirhams. Now, in some circumstances, the landlords also pay the agent. It depends on the landlord's relationship and what agreement the agent has with the landlord. But either way, if you are the tenant, you're going to be paying 5%. That's the market norm. This is a sometimes situation. The landlord paying is a sometimes situation. Now, if it's commercial and you are a tenant, you're generally going to pay 5%. Okay. Sometimes you pay 7%, 10%. Again, it's a commercial thing that's coordinated. And then the same thing gets repeated as a landlord. You might be paying 5, 7, or 10%. Depends on what you've negotiated from your agent who's actually representing you, the suite of services they're giving you, how much work they're putting in, how much difficult it is, so on and so forth, okay? On the sales side, if you end up buying something directly from a developer, then you're going to pay paying as a buyer 0% fees. This is true in 90%, 8% of the cases. There are anomalies in the market, a canceled unit, a comeback unit, where the developer has already paid an agency fee to the original broker and on a resale, even though it's straight from a developer, they're not looking to pay out again, okay? Now the brokers on this scenario could get a two, three, 4% agency fee from the developer. It just varies from developer to developer, target to target, project to project some projects which are extremely easy to sell developers pay a low resale fee okay low low sale fee on a resale the buyer generally pays two percent and the seller also sometimes pays two percent okay this is the norm now so if you're the buyer you're paying two percent if you're the seller you're paying two percent the one thing i want you to understand is that while i'm saying this is the norm it varies it, it varies, okay, V-A-R-I-E-S, okay? It varies from deal to deal, transaction to transaction. So if, for example, for example, if we have an ultra distressed property, we could see brokers charge 3%, 4%, 5%, 7%. They just know that you're going to be able to flip this property and make 30, 40% in in a profit so they will end up charging more i'm just giving you variations in the market this is a guideline it varies from case to case deal to deal catch you on the other side hey guys thank you for watching the video i hope you liked it my name is Fad Daud. i've been doing this for 15 plus years i started in uh, toronto canada in 2006 and since 2007 i've been based in dubai and doing real estate in dubai Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the 
subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.